Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and this product is called Glycon. It is a motion capture platform that uses your VR headset. I'm recording this um, to show you just how easy it is. I just started up my Oculus Quest. Uh, I'm going to stand up here, uh, recenter the room on me, adjust my headset. As you can see, um, you can already see my motions moving around here like this. Um, this is for recording motion and uh, getting it out for use in movies and um, video games, cut scenes, all kinds of stuff. Uh, anything that takes FBX or BVH animations. You can record your own instead of having to use ones you find on the internet, and instead of having to buy someone else's animations, and you get exactly what you want. And that's the whole point behind this, just to give you a little more control over the kinds of stuff you can do um, with motion capture for your own purposes. I'm going to go over some of the features really quick. Uh, what I want to point out first, though, is this is a demo version. There are now demo versions for Oculus Rift, um, HTC Vive, Windows Mixed Reality. Actually, Vive and Windows Mixed Reality both use the Steam version. And then there's also a demo for the Oculus Quest. They're all available on the website. You can go grab one and play with it today completely free. The only thing it doesn't do is it does not export um, the animations themselves. We also have some example animations on the website that you can take a look at. So, the first thing I would suggest is going into avatar settings and trying to decide exactly how you want your avatar to move around. Uh, for example, this right here may not be what you want. He may move too slowly or too weirdly or something like that. You, could, you can tweak all of that right here. So, for example, I could make my left leg uh, stay straight on the ground. At first, I'm going to set my, my body to be transparent. That's using the little eyeball. That lets me see the ground easier. So I'm just going to place this foot back here. You see over here where I am. And I'm going to click on footprint. That binds the left leg, because that's what we're looking at right now, or uh, left leg. It binds the left leg to that footprint there. Okay. And so you see over here what that looks like. Now, the next thing is, I want, to, I want to make it so that when I move around, my right leg moves, uh, a, this is the step distance, it moves a little faster. So, if I set this wide, then no matter how far I move over like this, that right leg is not going to move. And if I set it small, then that leg is going to move a lot based on that. So, I just want to set it somewhere around there. So, it looks a little more natural when I kind of pivot around like, like that. Yeah, that works. Okay. And uh, head torso, I think I'm going to adjust that a little bit. I'm going to change uh, the neck stiffness to be a little less stiff. Okay. And um, that also controls, that also helps with the chest rotation a little bit. Uh, if I set it real high, the chest rotation, actually that looks pretty good. We're going to set just a little bit lower. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. So you can play with all of this stuff. As you can see here, it says tracker positioning weight. If you have HTC Vive, uh, I encourage you to check out this that lets you set up um, your Vive trackers. And I think that's about all we're going to do to this guy right here. Um, I'm now going to hop into, well, let's see, I'm going I'm to grab a sword. Actually, I'm going to set it to none for right now. I'm just going to build a little virtual set here. And I'm in the virtual set mode. This is the second one. And instructions are here. Uh, use the pinch or the fist to destroy tools. So back over here, if I turn this uh, visibility on again so I can see my hand, when you move the joysticks, you, it does different gestures. Okay, and so what I want to do is use this one, uh, point forward. I want to um, create. I want to create some some blocks. So we're going to make a little. Uh, block over here. Okay. And now um, I'm going to go back into props and I'm going to grab the sword. And that's all I want. I want the sword. I'm going to use that in my in my scene. And uh, I'm going to uh, now go into record mode. So if I go back to the first one, I'll see that record mode is this button here. It's different on the Vive and Windows Mixed Reality. On the, on the Oculus versions, it's that um, top button there, so I'm going to hit that. Oh, actually I'm not. That's not right. 
I'm going to switch into edit mode first. This is, uh, I mean, I'm switching to live mode. This is live mode, and here we're going to do this. So, I got my sword. I can get the grip fish. Oh, there you go. And I'm going to hit record. And now, bing, 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 bing. Let's see if we can get both of them to do that. Okay. So now I would stop recording, and then I could go back into uh, edit mode, and I could export that. Since this is a demo version, when I hit export, it's not going to do it. Uh, I could also enhance, though, the animation so that when it comes out, it, the naming structure matches what I need for Unreal Engine 4. And so if I hit in export animation now, it's going to tell me no export in demo mode. Um, but that's, that's just how that is uh, for demo mode. Now, I can export the set, so if you wanted to play with this, if you saw that I mapped out my house, for example, with the virtual set, uh, you, can, you can totally use the sets. I've, I've been left that enabled for the demo. So feel free to build something weird uh, with a vox in built, built in voxel modeler, and then take that and go um, screw around with it. I'm kind of curious to see what people do with it. Because uh, you can do some neat stuff. You can turn off the Guardian in Quest. Or you could use room scale tracking and uh, like HTC Vive, and you could do some really interesting stuff using the uh, using the virtual sets. So that's it. For more information, go to liberty3d.com/glycon or see us on Facebook at facebook.com/glyconvr. Thank you very much.